Bienvenidos a Noticias al Día, canal informativo. Los invito a suscribirse y activar la campana de notificaciones si quiere estar conectado con lo que pasa en últimos minutos. Zelensky confirmó que Macron propuso ceder territorio ucraniano a Rusia. Esto está fuera de toda posibilidad. El presidente ucraniano afirmó que los esfuerzos del francés por mantener el diálogo con Vladimir Putin son en vano. Recuerde dejar un comentario en este video y un me gusta también para apoyarnos. Muchísimas gracias. Zelensky en declaraciones al canal de noticias italiano reveló por primera vez que el presidente francés Emmanuel Macron abrió la posibilidad de negociar ciertos territorios ucranianos para detener la ofensiva rusa. Sugerir algunas cosas relacionadas con concesiones de nuestra soberanía en aras de salvar la cara de Putin es erróneo. No estamos dispuestos a perder nuestros territorios por ello, afirmó. Está fuera de toda posibilidad. Zelensky cree que el líder francés intenta en vano mantener un diálogo constructivo con el presidente ruso. No debemos buscar una vía de escape para Rusia y Macron lo está haciendo en vano, dijo el presidente ucraniano. Sé que quería obtener resultados de la mediación entre Rusia y Ucrania, pero no consiguió ninguno. Moscú dijo no buscará el fin de los combates hasta que la propia Rusia quiera y entienda que lo necesita. Macron insiste en que Rusia y Ucrania tendrán que llegar en algún momento a una tregua negociada y que los esfuerzos de paz no están avanzando por la humillación de Rusia. ¿Qué opinan de esta información? Nuevamente los invito a suscribirse y activar la campana de notificaciones. No olvide dejar un comentario y un me gusta. Muchísimas gracias. Esto es Noticias al Día. While we know these are Russian actions, it's been difficult to draw a direct line from individual atrocities to a specific Russian commander until now. CNN can exclusively reveal that this man, Colonel General Alexander Zhiravlov, commander of the Western Military District, is the commander responsible for this. Munitions targeting civilians in the city of Kharkiv, East Ukraine, a war crime under international law. You see more artillery rockets apparently be firing from Russian territory towards the territory, I would say, around Kharkiv. I'm not sure if you can hear this right now. This is the start of the war. CNN's senior international correspondent, Fred Pleitgen, witnessed artillery being fired from inside Russia, within Zhiravlov's district, towards the city of Kharkiv. Sam Kiley was in Kharkiv and could hear the shelling moments later. Could feel the concussion against the glass. Now that we soon learned from experts these were smirch rockets. Built in the early 80s at the end of the Soviet era, this multiple rocket launch system, scorching the earth as it fires, is a pride and joy of Russia's armaments, as seen here in this propaganda documentary. This is what they're capable of delivering. Cluster bombs. One smirch rocket releasing many smaller explosives, scattering bombs, amplifying the devastation. These attacks, captured on social media both in Kharkiv and both from the same day, are a clear example of their indiscriminate nature. When used in this fashion against civilians, it's considered a war crime. The use of smirch rockets are key in our findings of who is responsible, because they are unique to one unit here, one commander. After months of forensic work, we can reveal the trail of evidence leading to Zhiravlov. Using social media videos to guide us, we return to some of the scenes of the attacks, focusing on February 27th, when three civilian targets were hit and eight more on February 28th. We start in the Pavlova Pola neighborhood of Kharkiv. This is shrapnel from those missiles that fell on our neighborhood, Lilia tells us. This shrapnel was found in one of the rooms. Lilia takes us to see a smirch rocket that fell 200 yards from her apartment block in this once affluent area. I remember the whistling sound of the missiles. I know that the missiles were flying and that they were accompanied by fighter planes or drones. You can see the hole that it came through. You can see the way that the rocket buckled when it hit the car. You can also very clearly see that this is a smirch. It's not the only rocket coming from this direction on this day. Less than a half mile down the road, another hit. Helping to situate us, this kiosk, that water cooler, they're key landmarks. The bodies landed here down this road. Those blue doors you see, that's where the cluster munition shrapnel embedded. 
This video filmed moments after the attack where four people, including a child, were killed. Another smirch launching cluster bombs. We know this because one of the unexploded bombs was found only 280 yards away. Notice the date, 2019. Russia stopped selling arms to Ukraine in 2014. This confirms this is a Russian cluster bomb. One and a half miles away, another strike, more suffering, and no sign of any legitimate military targets. People were queuing for food, and then something just hit. People started running here, she says. This is the exact moment of impact. Look at it again, frame by frame, you can see the scale of the rocket and proximity to innocent civilians. We are here in Kharkiv. Notice the five hits along this line from the 28th. They're pretty much in a line, apart from three here, which line up with the hits from February 27th. We can trace these lines 24 miles to a point of convergence here, across the border in Russia, well within the range of a smudge rocket, where we have a satellite image from the 27th showing the launching position. Notice the plume of smoke and the telltale burn marks of a smudge launch here, here, and here. In collaboration with the Center for Information Resilience, we can also tell you who is firing from this position. The 79th Russian Artillery Brigade, part of the Western Military District, which borders Ukraine and is under the command of Zhiravlov. According to open source information reviewed by CNN, military experts and intelligence sources, they are the only unit in this district equipped to launch smirch rockets. And only the commander has the authority to order the 79th Artillery Brigade to launch the rockets. And this was just in the two days that we analyzed. These stills shared exclusively with CNN by Kharkiv prosecutors show the Russian armaments raining death, among them many smirch remnants. Experts say this is among the heaviest bombardments in recent history. Zhiravlov is no stranger to these brutal tactics, atrocities targeting civilians. They're very similar to what we saw in Syria in 2016. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that Zhiravlov also led Russian troops during the siege of Aleppo. He is the architect of the devastation you see here. For leveling Aleppo, he was awarded the highest honor granted to Russian officers, hero of the Russian Federation. Yet Syrians have documented his war crimes. Si no te quieres perder de los últimos acontecimientos que pasan en el mundo, suscríbete y activa la campana. Somos Noticias al Día.